This is a reply to the Dutch philosopher. I wrote this video as I watched yours, so let me just get started here. Science is based on empiricism, which is a philosophy. Therefore, your opening statement makes no sense. It sounds like an attempt to poison the well and springboard into a straw man argument. On the point of science and religion being in conflict, they do conflict, but only to an extremely small degree, and it is limited to only the things where religion seeks to make a claim. Your separation of science and naturalism does not make sense, as naturalism is based on science. The difference between naturalism and anything else in opposition thereof can be boiled down to the argument from ignorance logical fallacy. Anything opposed to the naturalism view seems to regard that as acceptable, despite it being fallacious and reducible to a contradictory statement. Your claim of equivocation is false. Personal causes are material because we exist as material beings. It is you who are equivocating. You are saying that the personal cause of a material being is equivalent to the personal cause of an immaterial being. So the difference is material versus immaterial. This indicates you believe in an immaterial God. There is an intentionality in both, but one is part of this material universe and the other is not. Your law of causation section is a straw man. Hawking is talking about there being no causation without time, and you agree with that earlier in the video, so this appears to be an attempt at intentional intellectual dishonesty. On this next section, you are wrong. The laws of causality are only universal in Newtonian physics. Hawking was discussing a quantum event in this part. Particles pop in and out of existence all the time without any sort of causality. When you are talking about shorter time periods than a Planck time, there can be no causality. So you are trying to imply an inconsistency in Hawking's uh, position by conflating two incompatible sets of physical laws. Then you make this same point again. It's a straw man. Universal does not span Newtonian and quantum physics. Talking about something that is universal when discussing Newtonian physics has no bearing on quantum physics. So either you don't know enough science to comment on this video or you are intending to deceive people with fallacy. The subatomic realm of energy, as you call it, is as close to nothing as you can get. It all balances out to nothing, but nothingness is too orderly to exist by default. It also seems to be impossible to even create actual nothingness. So on the quantum level, these energy fluctuations are as close to nothing as you can get. So again, you display your ignorance of science. Fluctuating does not require time in this case. If something is smaller than a Planck length and shorter than a Planck time, then it exists only as a probability. So again, you continue to try to apply Newtonian principles to quantum physics. This is impossible. If this could be done, then go get your Nobel Prize for coming up with the theory for everything. Your options in this next part are a false dichotomy. Those are not the only options. Your first option is a straw man because you are applying what Hawking said about a quantum event to the laws of Newtonian physics. A personal cause cannot be the cause because there is no cause, and that's the problem with your other option. This is also an argument from ignorance. You don't know, therefore, some crap that somebody made up. This boils down to saying, I don't know, therefore I know with absolute certainty. That is the contradictory statement that is the basis of the argument from ignorance. 
So what we have here is a lack of knowledge about science and multiple logical fallacies, most of which appear to be for intentional deception. What is sad is that with the power of confirmation bias, a lot of people probably fall for this crap. The second video continues to use these same fallacies and display the same lack of knowledge, so there is no sense in repeating my refutation of these points every time the points are made. So all we have in the second video are different tangents from the same bullshit. Now, in the third video, we go back to the first point. You go on about how Hawking has abandoned philosophy, whatever that means. Philosophy is very general. There are many things that fall under that. One of those happens to be empiricism. So you can't abandon philosophy with a philosophy. That's just nonsense. Then you equate this with abandoning reason, and then continue on this long, rambling, slippery slope argument. So, it's a slippery slope of an equivocation of some errant nonsense. Then, more science without philosophy crap. That's like uh, making a whole big speech about having apples without fruit. It doesn't make any sense. You then continue into another slippery slope where this leads to some sort of amoral anarchy. It's like a game of seeing how many fallacies you can stack on top of each other. You should call it fallacy stack and market. Yes, hours of nonsensical fun where we can rationalize the most ridiculous ideas. You really should have stopped after the first video.